How's it going everyone? It's Kevin here, a movie collector maniac. I am going to show you some of my recent pickups. Uh, a lot of pickups going on since uh, everybody's got sales going on right now. We've got a Criterion sale. Uh, Target had a sale going on with uh, buy two get one free I believe. And then Amazon had a buy a three for the price of two. Basically buy two get one free. And then uh, so yeah, got the Arrow video with the sale going on right now. You got Kino Lover, I think, still got their sale going on. Uh, who else has a sale going on? I don't know. Seems like everybody has a sale going on right now. I think Severn had a sale going on. Uh, I think I did order. Maybe I did order. I can't remember if I ordered something from them or not. All right, so let's get into the video and see what I've received in the mail so far. Like I say... Some of them I still haven't got in yet. I uh, still haven't got my Kino Oversell in yet. Uh, still waiting on uh, one more Arrow video uh, sale purchase that I did last night or yesterday, I guess. And I still got to get all the ones I ordered from Target. Of course, some of them are pre-orders, so it'll be a while for some of those. All right, first I'm going to show you my uh, Amazon pickups that I've got over the last week or so. Uh, first one is 88 minutes with a uh, Al Pacino. This one is an upgrade from a DVD that I had. Next one is the Angry Birds movie on a uh, 4K. This one also has a 3D Blu-ray also. Next one I have the backup plan. This one stars Jennifer Lopez and Alex O'Loughlin. I guess that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, but yeah, he's from... Uh, probably know him from uh, Hawaii Five-O uh, remake TV show. This is another one that I upgraded my DVD on. Next one is this Tom Hanks movie called uh, Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Of course, he's playing uh, Mr. Rogers. I used to watch uh, Mr. Rogers growing up on uh, TV. Yeah, I thought I'd add this to my Tom Hanks collection and check this out it's got a 7.2 rating so it's pretty decent next i have this movie called uh, butcher's crossing stars nicholas cage it's a western movie and i did watch that one with my dad it was it was an okay movie uh you can see it only got a 5.6 so thought it'd be a little bit better than it was i think that's only uh nicholas cage's second western movie he's been in next i end up getting a uh, carry on a 4k i think this is one of the ones they had on sale where you buy three for the price of two i believe basically like buying two get one free basically but but they really just discount the ones that you buy from the cheapest one you buy but yeah it was an okay remake it stars uh chloe grace moret and julian moore of course it's based on a stephen king novel but yeah this one's got a 5.8 comes with a slip cover next one is the death wish remake with uh bruce willis on 4k i decided to go ahead and get it i think i only own this one on uh digital so i decided to go ahead and get the 4k on this one i think that was another one that part of the buy three for the price of two or whatever but yeah it was a pretty decent remake it was okay i, I enjoyed it for what it was uh not as good as the charles bronson one the original but it was pretty decent next we have donnie darko this is one i owned on blu-ray but i never got around to watching it so i'm looking forward to checking out the 4k i mean it's got a good rating 8.0 on imdb stars uh Jake Gyllenhaal and his sister Maggie. You got Patrick Swayze and Drew Barrymore is in this. That's the 4K from Arrow Video. Next, I have the movie Fat Man with uh, Mel Gibson and Walton Goggins. Uh, Mel Gibson plays Santa Claus in this one. It's a it's a weird take on a, a Santa Claus story. Uh, I think some kid got mad at Santa Claus, so he did he hire a hitman, and uh, Walter Walton Goggins plays the hitman, so he's coming after Santa Claus to kill him. I didn't I didn't own that on uh, physical media, I just owned the digital copy. Next we have K19, The Widowmaker, starring Harrison Ford and Liam Neeson. It's got a 6.7 rating on IMDb. This is the one I actually upgraded from a DVD. I never got the Blu-ray, and like I said, I think this was part of the 
buy three for the price of two deal they had going on haven't watched that one probably since it came out back in 2002 next one i upgraded my kiss the girls uh on 4k uh stars morgan freeman and ashley judd i actually got a pretty decent deal on this one uh this is like an amazon return i guess i think what they did was buy this and they took the digital code and used the digital code because the digital code wasn't in here so i got this for about 13 dollars and something i did have the blu-ray i never opened up i think i bought it uh last year or something from groove but yeah i never got around to opening that blu-ray up that's another one i probably haven't watched uh since it came out and it's got a pretty decent rating it's got a 6.6 .6 rating so definitely one you could check out and watch if you like a crime mystery thriller all right next i end up buying this uh knight rider complete series starring david hasselhoff of course it's a great little show i used to watch uh back in the 80s when i was growing up uh Anyway, it's got 85 episodes. This is from uh, Mill Creek, of course. All right, I ended up uh, picking up the Men in Black uh, 4K Steelbook. Since this one has uh, Dolby Vision. The original uh, Men in Black trilogy didn't have Dolby Vision, so I thought I'd go ahead and pick this up on uh, Steelbook. Pay like $17.29 for this. I better than paying the $35 or what it was uh, when it first came out on Best, at Best Buy. All right, this so next movie is called The Ministry of Ungentlemanly warfare this is my uh 4k still book to i think it's amazon exclusive i never watched this movie in the theater but i thought it'd be a pretty decent movie it's got a 6.9 on imdb and i mean it's, it's a guy ritchie film directed by guy ritchie and i usually i don't think i've seen a bad guy ritchie movie anyway it stars henry cavill uh alan richson if you, you probably know him from uh the jack reacher series on uh amazon anyway it was a fun little action movie uh, me and my wife watched it and enjoyed it, but uh, yeah, this one is a 4K. It's got a slip cover. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me up, and there's my Instagram uh, QR code, I guess, if you want to follow me on Instagram. All right, next I have Mr. Baseball, starring Tom Selleck, also uh, stars uh, Dennis Haysbert. This is a pretty decent little baseball movie. It's got a 6.0 on IMDb. This is an upgrade from a DVD that I had. Going to my uh, sports collection movies. All right, next is another Tom Selleck movie. Uh, I went ahead and upgraded my uh, Blu-ray to 4K on Quigley Down Under from uh, Shop Factory. I think this was another one that, that was part of uh, like the buy three, get two for the price of two or whatever. So I got this is a pretty good deal for like 21 bucks. I think I still have the Blu-ray that, that I bought uh, last year or year before last. I don't know. Still wrapped up as well. I need, uh, the, I need to watch uh, that 4K since I got it on 4K now. But yeah, it's a good little Western. Uh, it's actually set in Australia, I believe. It's uh, 6.9 on IMDb. All right, next is the movie Ronin on uh, 4K starring Robert De Niro. This one's from uh, Kino Lover. And this is another upgrade that I had a Blu-ray on. So I went ahead and upgraded this one. I think I got this one for about 18 bucks. I think it might be on sale uh, from uh, Kingdom Lorber right now for $17.99 if I'm not mistaken. If I'd have waited a little bit, I could save 23 cents. <laughs> Alright, next we have the movie Sliver starring uh, Sharon Stone and William Baldwin. It also has Tom Berenger. Martin Landau, another movie I haven't seen in a while. I believe this is one I had on DVD also, so upgrade to Blu-ray. Doesn't have the greatest rating, 5.1, but I'll add it to my uh, Sharon Stone collection. All right, the last thing I got from Amazon is Wednesday, season one. Uh, I think this was on uh, Netflix. I never got around to watching it, but heard great things about it it's got an 8.1 on imdb so it's got to be a pretty good show yeah it stars uh jenna ortega as wednesday adams you got christina ricci who played a uh, wednesday on the adams family movies but yeah i'm looking forward to checking this out uh i think my wife has already watched this show i asked her if she, she liked it she said she did need to watch that i did watch my uh tulsa king blu-ray uh yesterday i think some the day before but 
Thanks for watching that. It was a pretty good, pretty good uh, series. Hopefully, they'll have a season two of Tulsa King. Starring uh, Sylvester Stallone in that one. So, yeah, that's all my Amazon pickup. All right, so while I was shooting this video, uh, I got a, another delivery from Amazon. I forgot I was getting this one in today, but I got the Captain Phillips uh, 4K Steelbook in today that I pre ordered a while back. Uh, I didn't previously own this movie on the uh, physical format. I did own a uh, digital copy on my Voodoo collection. Really great movie. As you can see, it's got a uh, 7.8 rating on IMDb. Stars Tom Hanks. Alright, so there's the front artwork. And then there's the back. And both of them together. There's the inside, inside artwork. And so we have another movie from my uh, Tom Hanks collection. This one has Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. What was weird about that delivery, uh, they actually called me on the phone saying, can I leave this at the front door? They never had them call me on the phone asking if they can leave something at the front door before. So that was kind of strange. All right, since this video is already around 11 minutes long, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just break this up with uh, part two. This will be part one. So part two of pickups number 63 will be out later. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to make this part one just all Amazon. So anyway, stay tuned for part two. I guess I'm going to be like a Horizon or... Or Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning and make a part two and but I'm not gonna do part three and part four like Horizon I guess. But yeah, stay tuned for part two. And as always, you can leave me a comment down below. I'll uh, definitely try to get back to you on the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. And hope to see you on uh, part two of this video. See y'all later.